On this week's edition of GV TV. The holidays are coming up. What are GV students most excited for in this upcoming holiday season? Girls tennis is soon coming to an end. How have our Eagles done this year? There's been a lot of construction going on here at GVHS. How far along are they and what will our high school be like when it's all done? And finally, a little more trivia here on GV TV featuring the siblings of Grand Valley High School. How well do these siblings know each other? Find out on this week's episode of GV TV. Valley students, I'm Megan and I'm Brian and we are very excited to bring you the latest news from the Valley of the Green. That's right, the staff here at DVTV would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Wait, Brian, you do realize it's the beginning of October, right? Well, duh, I'm just getting in the spirit of things. I mean, just think about it. Do you remember how much fun school gets when the holidays start? Yeah, just like how we'd have all these fun parties and holiday inspired schoolwork. I think it'd just be fun to go back in time and cherish those days a little more. I know what you mean, but unfortunately we can't go back in time. But luckily we do have Hannah, Gabby, and Jenna out at Snybar Elementary to give us a look at how excited these kids are about the beginning of fall and the holiday season. Hey guys, Gabby here, and I know how exciting the fall season can be for all ages. So let's head out to the high school and elementary school to see what everyone is excited for. I'm here with Ethan McCoubrey. So Ethan, what are you most excited for? Uh, getting to dress up to escape reality. Me too. And what are some things that you do with your family? We go to the local Walmart and pick out pumpkins to car. Carving pumpkins is fun. And what are some things that are changing around this time? Uh, it's starting to get cold. All right, thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Kendall. So Kendall, what's your favorite thing about fall? Um, to jump in leaves. Awesome, and what changes during fall? The leaves. And what does you and your family like to do during fall? Hold hands and jump in the <laughs> Very good, thank you. I'm here with Afton Elin. So Afton, what are you most excited for? Halloween. Halloween is pretty exciting. And what are some things that you do with your family? Usually we go to the pumpkin patch in the corn maze. That sounds pretty fun. And what are some things that are changing? The leaves. All right, thank you. I'm here with Mary Grace. So what's your favorite thing about fall? Jumping in the leaves. All right, and what changes during fall? The leaves change colors. And what is this, is something you and your family like to do? We go to my grandpa's and we do Thanksgiving. Very good, thank you. I'm here with Jalen. Jalen, what are you most excited for during fall? Corn mazes and pumpkin patches. Cool, I've never been. What do you and your family like to do? Uh, we like to carve pumpkins. Oh, I like carving pumpkins too. And what's changing? Uh, the weather. Thank you. I'm here with Erin. Erin, what's your favorite thing about fall? Uh, pumpkins. Pumpkins, okay. And what do you and your family like to do during the fall? Play. Play, me too. And what changes during fall? The weather. The weather, very good, thank you. I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, what's your favorite thing about fall? Trick or treating. All right, me too. And what do you and your family like to do during fall? Play games and watch TV. <laughs> okay. And what changes during fall, Andrew? Leaves. All right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> that was so much fun, but it's just now hitting me how old we're all getting. But I'm glad we are able to go out and do things like this. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you so much guys. I'm so excited that it's fall and we're getting into the season. This is probably one of the best times of the year. Me too. Pumpkins, hot cocoa, and leaves changing. But fall has only just begun. There's so much more to come. Well, it's great that this fall weather and seasons are beginning. Other things are starting to come to an end. That's right, Brian. Girls Tennis, one of our fall sports here at GV, has had yet another record year. And although we'd like to see it go on all year, it's reaching the end of its season. Let's head out to Allie and Courtney to review the season's achievements and most memorable moments. Hey GV, so as we know, our girls tennis team has had yet another epic season. To see what I mean by that, let's go head out to see what they have to say. Hi, I'm here with the varsity tennis player, Michaela Grecian. Michaela, tell me a little bit how your tennis season is going. 
Our tennis season's going really good. Um, we just got second in uh, team districts, and on Friday we're going to go for individual districts. Well, I wish you luck. And what is your most memorable part of this season? Uh, my most memorable part of the season was when we won MRVC Conference Tournament. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Kendra Seibert. Kendra, what has been your biggest success this tennis season? Winning conference. Great job. And do you have any goals for next season? To improve as a team and hopefully win districts. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Camille Harrison. So Camille, how long have you played tennis for? Since I was about 13. Oh, so for a while now. Okay. So what inspired you to start playing? Well, I used to play softball and then I quit, so I had to pick up another sport and I just chose tennis. That's great. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm here with Haley Bolin. Haley, how was your experience playing tennis as a freshman? It was good. I've been playing three years, so it was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And what was your biggest accomplishment? Um, probably being number three on the dub on JV. Yeah, and I'm hoping next year I get on varsity, but we'll see. That's a good goal. Good luck. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Ryan Deaton. So Ryan, how long have you played tennis for? Two years. That's pretty cool. So what is your favorite team to play in tennis? Blue Spring South. Awesome. They're a pretty good team. And what do you hope to accomplish by next season? I hope to be on like Upper JV. Thank you so much, Ryan. I'm here with Kaylee Smith. So Kaylee, how long have you been playing tennis for now? I've been playing tennis since I was 12. So quite a while. Okay. And what difference do the new courts make? It's a huge difference. We have a lot more room and we can spread everybody out and everyone gets to hit a lot more than we used to. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And what can we expect from you in the future? Um, I plan on playing college tennis and hopefully, you know, being successful in that. Awesome. Thank you so much. I hope the tradition of success can continue on next year. Thanks, guys. Back to you in the studio. It really has been a joy to see what our team has accomplished this year. Sure has. I can't wait to see what's in store for the next year. Thanks, guys. It's funny that you bring that up, Brian, because we have so much in store for our high school in the future. You're right, Megan. I'm so excited for all the new changes happening to our school. Specifically, this new construction at the high school has really got me pumped for what's in store. I'm really curious about what exactly is going to be added to our school and what I can expect for the future. That's a great point, Brian. Lexi and Amanda have the full scoop after a short break from our sponsors. At Big Frog, we make custom t-shirts and a whole lot more. No setup fees, no minimums, free design service, and quality that lasts. Come see what Big Frog can do for you. Fast delivery and personalized service, we print orders from 1 to 1,000 in any style you choose. Your artwork or ours, at Big Frog, we make custom t-shirts and a whole lot more right before your eyes. Introducing our new grilled chicken. Hungry for more? Go to grilledlove.com. Welcome back to this week's episode of GVTV. Thank you again to Chick-fil-A and Big Frog for all your help with the GVTV this year. And now back to the news. Lexi and Amanda, take it away. It's Armand here, and I'm here to get new updates about the construction going on at Grain Valley High School. Let's head out to Amanda and find out. I'm Amanda Long, and I'm here with Brad Welly, Assistant Superintendent. And can you tell us about the new instruction going on? Yeah, we're really excited about these new classrooms that are going in behind us. We're going to have seven new classrooms, and they're all going to be larger classrooms. We're also going to have new student restrooms and a new collaboration space. Yay, I'm excited. And are there any surprises that we don't know about? There, there aren't any bad surprises going on right now, but there, I, I think students will be pleasantly surprised when they see these new spaces. And what's the progress on the new studio and the other rooms? Everything is on track to be done by Christmas break, so students will be able to be in all these new classrooms by the start of second semester. The, uh, the new studio is going to be awesome. It's going to be about twice as big as the current studio. So it and the, um, the yearbook classroom, the marketing, the business classrooms, those are all going to be really large spaces, and I think students are going to be really pleased with the use of technology in there. 
There will be TV monitors for the business and marketing classrooms, and uh, it'll really go well for group work in those classes. And what is it going to look like when it's all completed? It, it's going to be beautiful. It's, the color scheme will be like what you've already seen with some of the new construction, but it's really set up for students to collaborate. You kind of see that as a theme in the new rooms that are being built. So I think, I, think I think students and teachers will really like the look of these new spaces. And they're going to like the look of the wide hallways and the ability to go out in the hall and work on projects out there as well. We also have our, some of our outside facilities that are wrapping up here in the next few weeks. So within another couple weeks we should have um, students able to use the outdoor activity space. So wrestlers, for example, will have a new place to practice this season, so we're excited about that too. Okay, thank you. I'm happy to see this all come together after a long process, and I hope everyone is as well. Back to you guys in the studio. That sure does get me excited for the future of our high school. I couldn't agree more. We can't wait to see the end product. And other news around here in Grain Valley, our Grain Valley Marching Eagles went to the Golden Regiment Invitational in Blue Springs over the last weekend. It was a great experience for all of the band members and the family and friends that had the opportunity to come and watch our Marching Eagles perform. The Marching Eagles took first place in Class 2A and took home all three caption awards available for their class. They also had the opportunity to perform in finals that night and finished fifth place overall against some of the nation's greatest marching bands. Congratulations to all that participated in this event. You know, Megan, you could probably spot me in some of those pictures. Probably, but I mean, how can you tell? You're in uniform and you all look alike. Kind of like how you and me look so much alike. I mean, we could probably pull off as siblings. Um, I don't know where you're getting that from. I am so much better looking than you. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. While we may have some resemblance in our appearance, we probably don't know each other as well as real siblings would. Well, let's find out. GVTV members Rylan and Kayla are testing out how well GBHS students know their siblings. Take it away, ladies. Hey, GV, it's Kayla. And I'm Rylan. This week we're going to learn a little bit more about the siblings here at GVHS. I hope everyone has done the research. So let's go check it out and see who knows their sibling the best. Hi, my name is Jackson Brady. Hi, my name is Avery Brady. My name is Jake Salisbury. My name is AJ Salisbury. My name is Dylan Forge. Hi, my name is Dalton Forge. Hi, I'm Alex Thiessen. Hi, my name is Katie Thiessen. Hi, my name is Kevin Carpio. And my name is Jenny Carpio. All right, let's get started. The first question is, what is your sibling's middle name? His middle name is Thomas. Her middle name is Michelle. AJ's middle name is Joseph. Jake's middle name is Ryan. Jenny's middle name is Fatima. <laughs> Kevin's middle name is Scotty. <laughs> Dylan's middle name is Ray. Dalton's middle name is Alexander. Katie's middle name is Nicole. Alex's middle name is Neil. The second question is, what's your sibling's favorite meal? Her favorite meal is mashed potatoes. His favorite is pasta. AJ's favorite meal is Skittles. <laughs> Jake's favorite meal is Cheetos. His favorite meal is pizza. Her favorite meal, I think, is Chipotle. Mac and cheese. Microwaved Roman noodles. Alex's favorite food is ice cream. And Katie's is either country fried steak or mashed potatoes. The third question is, what is your sibling's favorite holiday? Her favorite holiday is Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> his favorite is Christmas. Jake's favorite holiday is his birthday. AJ's favorite holiday is Halloween. Jenny's favorite holiday is Christmas. Kevin's favorite holiday is Christmas. Dylan's favorite holiday, I'd have to say, is 4th of July. Dalton's favorite holiday is also 4th of July. Katie's favorite holiday is Christmas. Alex's favorite holiday is also Christmas. The fourth question is, what's your sibling's favorite TV show? His favorite TV show is The Walking Dead. 
Her favorite TV show is One Tree Hill. His favorite TV show is Friends. His favorite TV show is Sports Center. Kevin's favorite TV show is Breaking Bad. Jenny's favorite TV show is probably uh, I'd have to say The Office. Dalton's favorite TV show is Drake and Josh. Dylan's favorite TV show is probably Chicago Fire. Alex's favorite TV show is The Office. Katie's favorite TV show is Grey's Anatomy. The fifth question is, what is the most annoying thing your sibling does? The most annoying thing that Avery does is that she is really messy. Uh, the most annoying thing that he does is he interrupts me. What? He likes to copy whatever I do all the time. He hangs out with my friends more than I do. Uh, probably the most annoying thing about Kevin is he'll like tell me like a really in detail story or something about somebody and I'll be like no way and he'll be like yeah and then like 10 minutes later he's like I'm just kidding and I'll be like oh my gosh. Um, probably the most annoying thing is she tries to make me laugh all the time. Hides behind my dad. Punches me. The most annoying thing Katie does is park in my spot. <laughs> the most annoying thing Alex does is sometimes um, when he's trying to mess with me, he calls me Caterline. Final question is, who is your sibling's celebrity crush? His crush is Alex Morgan. Her crush is Billy Ray Cyrus. His celebrity crush is Kendall Jenner. And his celebrity crush is Brad Pitt. I think his name is McDreamy. Or Uh, Kevin's is Kendall Jenner. His celebrity crush is Casey Musgrave. His favorite celebrity er, celebrity crush is Miley Cyrus. Katie's favorite celebrity crush is Zac Efron. I mean, I'm a pretty good looking celebrity, but I'm going to have to go with Selena Gomez for Alex. As you can see, some answers were a bit more correct than others, but it was a good try, guys. Thank you. And back to you in the studio. Man, it really does show if you don't know your sibling that well. Maybe you're right. We could definitely pull it off as siblings. Ah, all right, Megan. That's all we have for this week's episode of GVTV. We'd like to say a quick thank you to all of our sponsors here at GVTV. We couldn't do it without you. Make sure to follow our Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at GVHS Eagle Media to keep up with the latest from all our staff here at GVTV. What do you say we close today's episode with the riddle? Sounds like a great idea, Megan. Here it is, GV. What asks but never answers? Ooh, sounds like a tough one. Reply with your answer to our Twitter page and tune in for next week's Eagle News to see if you won. Well, we'll see you then. Have a wonderful weekend, GV, and stay classy.